There are a lot of questions, Sadhguru, on whether a ceremony like what we're going to see on 22nd January can happen in a temple that's not complete. Does it matter? See, the temple is of three floors. Mm -hmm. They've completed one floor and they're doing the Ram Lala consecration. And it's already a consecrated deity. They're further mm -hmm. enhancing that. And 550 years of time, if it's not enough wait, somebody wants to wait another two years. For what? For their own reasons, leave that. I think it's a wonderful thing. As I said, if you love something, you're never going to do something that says, okay, this is enough. So temple will be continuously going on enhancing itself. Mm. See, uh, it's already twenty-five, uh, twenty-seven years since we... I think almost that much since we did uh, Dhyanalinga. Is it over? We're still do going on adding something, something, something. Will it ever be over? It'll never be over. I think the same is true with the Ram Temple, it'll never be over. It'll okay. go on. If we do stone, then somebody will say, let's, you know, cover it with gold. Mm. Somebody will say, let's uh, put diamonds in it. Because when you love something, you can never do enough. So temple will always be evolving. Mm. Unfortunately, we've had a historical situation where temples were pulled down, destroyed, desecrated. So now we're putting back, of course there is a rush. 550 years is not a small amount of time to wait. Of course. And look at the resilience of the people. I've... Uh, because, uh, you know, because this is in coming last eight years, I've been kind of acquainting myself with the history of these things. Because what we read in the school books was so... not history at all. Very basic. <laughs> not even basic. Hmm. All false in many ways. False? Yes. Very, scare, you know, one-sided. Like what? Not a whole picture. Hmm. See, you read only uh, dates and battles. Hmm. Nothing about the people. Nothing about their suffering, nothing about their valor, nothing about what they built, why they were important, no. Who won the battle? See, writing history in the name of people who won the battle is a very crude way of doing things. Many times people who lost the battle might have been greater people. Hmm. So, I've been acquainting myself, what I see about this Ram Mandir is, this 550 years, even during the British era, Many cases fought, eleven or twelve cases were fought, every one of them they won. But all these cases were fought and launched by ordinary people. Not some great leaders or very rich people or yeah. kings or something, ordinary people. Five hundred and fifty years, look at the resilience. How much love should be there in your heart to do that? Generation after sure. generation. So if you don't admire that, forget about Ram, if you don't admire these people, mm who carried this on, and now when they want to open, you say, why don't you wait for two more years? I think it's ugly, even uttering such things. Mm. It's quite obscene for me that somebody is going on trying to find fault. Really, let them do it the way they want it. You wish to be there, be there. If you don't wish to be there, don't be there, it's simple.